Hi, and welcome to this short demo of Brainware Safari Cognitive Training Software. The first thing that I'm going to do is to log into my account, my username and password, and it'll take me right into the program. Now, the first thing we need to do before we start is to choose our Safari friend. So I'm going to go into the Safari Corral and here are my friends that I can choose from. Billy Bear, Patty Parrot, Moby Monkey, and Jackie Jaguar. So let's see, I think I'm going to choose Billy Bear today. And I will go back and now we can actually start playing. So we'll go to the jungle and I'm just going to show you a few exercises a few of the 20 exercises in Brainware Safari. I'm going to start with Bear Shuffle. So I can see that I get my instructions and I can read them or I can listen to them being read aloud by clicking on Level the speaker. Level one starts with three cards face down. The cards are turned up one at a time. I already know how to play this level, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. The computer's going to give us three cards when we click the Start Challenge button. And then it's going to turn them over so we can't see the numbers anymore. And our job is to get them into numeric order from smallest to largest. So I'm going to grab that three in the middle and move it up to the front. So it was in the middle. I'm going to move it up to the front. And I'm going to check my answer. And I got it right. I need to do it seven out of ten times to pass the level. And I can keep track of how I'm doing up at the top right where it says W and L for wins and losses. So I've got one right, and if I did it six more times, I would pass the level. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is actually simply um, show you another exercise. So I'm going to leave this one. The next one I want to show you. Those who never give up always win in the end. Yes, they do. All right, so here is, um, I'm going to do Rhythm Ribbit. So Rhythm Ribbit is a challenging exercise. It involves clicking to a metronome beat. So once again, I'm going to click Start Challenge. And then I can hear the metronome beat, and I can see the little fly flashing by the frog. So I'm going to put my cursor on the frog, and I'm going to start clicking after I really get the beat. There we go. So far, so good. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, now I was early. And I passed the level. Hi, Billy. Thanks for coming out to congratulate me. All right. All right. Excellent. So I actually passed that level. That's fantastic. All right, now I'm going to show you another exercise called Parroting Colors. <laughs> So we're going to go up here to our parrot. And what's going to happen here is that we're going to see colored squares that are going to appear on the grid. And we're going to have a click here button. We just have to click on it five times and then click the grid squares in the order we saw them. So we have to remember the colors and where they were. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I saw so a yellow uh, square and a pink square, sort of a magenta square. But I can't go ahead and click them yet. I have to click on the click here button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to click where the yellow square was and where the pink square was. And I did it. I got them right. And once again, I can check my progress on the upper right. And if I passed six more times, did it successfully, then I would get to go to level two. Well, I think Impressive you're getting the effort. idea here. Keep it up. I'm going to show you one more exercise. This tends to be almost everybody's favorite in the program. This is called Jungle Labyrinth, and it's about doing a maze. Now, the very cool thing about this maze I'll show you in just a moment. So all I do is I click once on the llama. I don't need to hold it. 
and I'm just going to move my mouse through the maze. Now what happens here is if I miss, like if I hit a wall like this. Good try. I can. Oh, okay. Well, I can't hit a wall. I have to really stay between. I also can't backtrack. I really need to plan my route and guide my llama carefully and smoothly through the maze. Let's see if I can do this. And on I go. Let's see. I'm almost there. All right. I did it. Okay. Well, you've gotten a chance to see a few different a exercises. To learn. So it gave me a message that I shouldn't stop yet because I didn't pass the whole level. But that'll encourage me to come back another time and practice. Now, anytime I want, I can come back in here and I can look at the progress board in the Safari Resort. Um, and you can see it has my name on here. Of course, my first name is Curious. My last name is George, Curious George. And I can click on the progress board and I can look at my progress. I know I passed a level. Yes, I passed one level of Rhythm Ribbit, so I got a gold bar for that. And so I can always check my progress, see how I'm doing and decide which exercise and which game I wanna play next. Thanks for joining us today. Come back and we'll play again sometime soon.